What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer. Lead Overwatch writer Michael Chu just announced earlier today on Twitter that he will be leaving Blizzard and Overwatch for quite possibly greener pastures. Earlier he tweeted, 20 years after first walking through the doors at Blizzard, I'm moving on to new adventures. Overwatch has been an amazing experience and one that I will treasure forever. Thank you to everyone for your support over the years. He then links a longer sort of going away article which is posted on his website where he goes a bit more in depth with just talking about his experiences at Blizzard and how much it meant to him to be able to work on Blizzard games such as Overwatch, World of Warcraft, and Diablo. Now, Michael Chu leaving is kind of a big deal, especially when it comes to Overwatch 2, the upcoming sequel to Overwatch, and what it's going to mean to have the game's lead writer disappear, presumably about a year, maybe even less, before that game launches. Also, we don't entirely know why Michael Chu decided to leave, specifically at this point in time. Time, so what exactly are we to make of it at this point? So far, I've seen a fairly mixed response from people regarding his departure. There seems to be a lot of people who are actually excited for Michael Chu to leave, which I'll admit isn't surprising given how notorious he's sort of become within the Overwatch community, specifically when it comes to the way that he just sort of teases backstory for the characters sporadically on Twitter a lot of the time. And I'm sure many of you have very negative memories of the Diva Starcraft retcon, which unfortunately I don't think he's ever been able to live down. So Chu has certainly had his fair share of blunders over the years, but overall I do think he played a pretty integral part to making the Overwatch game that we all know and love. Sure, the story is slow for Overwatch, but for the most part I've always been a bit more supportive of Chu than it seems like the general community has been. I think a lot of the issues we see when it comes to the incredibly slow pace of the story releasing has less to do with Chu just not doing any work, and more to do with the Blizzard executives just sort of throttling the amount of content that's actually being put out. Given that Overwatch is a PvP shooter game, there really isn't a whole ton of room for story in that. Sure, you have the external story aspects like the animated shorts, the comics, and more recently the short stories, but for the most part those don't have nearly the same return on investment as just putting content directly into the game. So a lot of the flack that Michael Chu has gotten over the years for just not doing any work and not putting out any story, I think is more the fault of Blizzard executives just not letting him put out as much as people wanted. Basically, they want to release things at a fairly slow pace to keep people interested, but not have to give us a whole lot, essentially. Overall, he's undeniably had an amazing impact on the characters themselves. I think that Overwatch's strongest aspect is by far just the characters in the game, and he's clearly had a very major role in developing these over the years. Now, when it comes to the upcoming sequel, Overwatch 2, it seems like Michael Chu's departure is kind of at a really bad time when it comes to the fact that that game is presumably going to be releasing in another year, just about. There's been some rumors and leaks suggesting it's coming out in late 2020. None of those are particularly concrete, though, unfortunately, so I still think it's safest to just estimate an early 2021 release, but we don't know any details on that for sure. Sure, but having Chu just leave Blizzard at this point in time leading up to the release of the sequel makes me a bit nervous about how the story of the sequel is going to end up going if its lead writer leaves before it's done, basically. Now, another thing to consider is that it's possible that all the major story writing for Overwatch 2 and the PvE missions that are going to be involved with that might, in fact, already be done. Obviously, when it comes to a major title like Overwatch 2, you're going to want the story to be done fairly early in the overall process, so that when you're animating the cutscenes and any sort of shorts or stories or character interactions you end up putting into it, you're going to be doing all of that after the main writing is done. So possibly the reason we're seeing Chu leave at this point in time is that the major writing for the main game of Overwatch 2 was just recently finished, but it does seem sort of odd that he wouldn't stick around to just sort of oversee the general development of the rest of the sequel leading up to its release. So yeah, that is kind kind of concerning to have him leaving at this point in time. Again, there are just so many factors involved internally. We don't know about how many other writers are necessarily working on the game, what exactly the sort of pace is that they're working on it, how much story is actually going to exist in the sequel, since a lot of people are hyped for Overwatch 2 to be a more story-focused experience, since we know it's going to have a much heavier PvE element, but maybe that won't even really be the case. I don't know. We're just going to have to wait and see. The other aspect 
of Chu's departure, though, is his reason for departing. We don't really know. He doesn't really specify why he chose to leave Blizzard in his article that he posted or in his tweet anywhere. He talks about being excited for moving on to new adventures and being able to tell stories and make characters in new ways. And I'm kind of getting the impression that maybe he reached a point where he felt like Blizzard or Activision Blizzard, I should honestly be saying, the executives and the rest of the company were maybe just restricting him a little too much and not giving him enough freedom to really make the characters and stories he wanted to do. Again, looking at the aspect where people blame him for the story being as minimal as it is in Overwatch 1, maybe he kind of just got sick of being the scapegoat essentially for a problem that he doesn't even have that much control over. I do think that he's done fantastic work when it comes to designing the characters themselves and their backstories, as well as the writing in many of the comics and animated shorts, but maybe he just saw an opportunity elsewhere or got a job offer from some other company that was just going to let him maybe make a bit more money and tell more stories that he just wasn't able to tell at Blizzard with Overwatch. It is kind of sad because Michael Chu, I feel like, is one of the big names most people in the community sort of recognize when it comes to the Overwatch development team and the people working on it. Of course, he's not the same tier as Jeff Kaplan. Nobody's ever going to top Jeff Kaplan. But in terms of having Chu move on to something else, I think this is going to be a sad thing for us to look back on. Again, a lot of people seem excited that he's gone, thinking we're going to get a better writer coming onto the game and leading Overwatch 2 and the story for that. And sure, that's possible. We could end up getting someone who's incredibly talented and just takes the story in a fantastic direction and we're all happy. But also, we could just as easily get someone who's terrible at writing and story direction and making characters. I am very fascinated to see if there's any sort of discernible shift going forward when it comes to just the writing in general, the direction of the story, and most importantly, the characters themselves. I'm typically a pretty optimistic person, so I've got my fingers crossed that the story, at the very least, won't go downhill after Chu's departure, and maybe in some way it will even end up improving. But that's something that we're just going to have to wait and see. As I said, we don't have a ton of information about why Chu left in the first place or what this is even going to mean for the sequel going forward, but I'm going to keep my hopes up and hopefully you guys will too. So let me know your thoughts about Michael Chu departing from Overwatch by dropping a comment down below. As always, leave a like to let me know if you enjoyed this video and subscribe, hit that bell, follow me on Twitter and join my Discord server to never miss any of my future Overwatch content. You can also support my channel by hitting that join button down below. Otherwise, this is Master Ian Gamer signing off and until next time, have a great day.